What goes good with a, a hamburger? Well, let's, uh, let's ask the expert here from Kendall Jackson. Everybody knows Kendall Jackson Winery, one of the finest in the world. Uh, Randy Ullum is here this morning. They're wine master. How are you? I am great. It's good to see you. Okay, I, I'm it's just throwing you a little curveball there. You didn't know we were going to find out what uh, kind of wine goes with a hamburger. Yeah, no, well, it, 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 any wine goes with a hamburger. That's <laughs> okay. what, what you'll enjoy. <laughs> That's the right answer, exactly. Hey, we wanted to have you in today because uh, Kendall Jackson, uh, again, being one of the premier names in wine, offers such a wide variety here. We thought you were the perfect person to tell us what's great for the summertime here as things start to heat up. Well, it, that's a great uh, great question and a great, this is a great time because as summer approaches, we've got wonderful Sauvignon Blanc such as the Kendall Jackson Grand Reserve and then even be going beyond summer and into maybe Mother's Day, we have our Vintners Reserve Riesling which has a lot of peach and pear tones and then if you're, especially in this neck of the woods, in, 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 in San Diego, along the ocean, if you're going to have a little, uh, say, some oysters, fresh uh -huh. oysters, we have our Avant uh, Chardonnay, a little more on the steely side, a little less oak tones in the Avant. Or if you're thinking, well, I've got to have some lobster or some crab or crab cakes, well, then you, you'd want to try our Kendall Jackson Vintners Reserve Chardonnay. Mm. This is just a cornucopia of fruit. Pineapple tones, papaya tones from the Santa Barbara area, lemon and limes from Monterey, pear and, and, and apple from up north in Sonoma and um, Napa and even Mendocino County. Then we have another one here where we go up a notch from Vintners Reserve at Kendall Jackson to Grand Reserve, which is roughly half from Santa Barbara and half from, from Monterey. And then if you really want to go for broke, you can try our Camelot Highland Chardonnay. Oh, that you mean the one you didn't open? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a meal in itself. Okay. Well, you know, as you, as you start to educate folks on wine, and more and more folks are, are becoming more familiar with wine and more comfortable with discussing wine, if somebody is just starting off, mm -hmm. what do you start them off with, and how do you explain it to them so they can continue to grow in their appreciation of wine? Well, I think the most important thing, and this is where, where, where what we're very proud of, is to have a, a, a wine that has a lot of fruit that just sort of flies out of the glass and slaps you on the side of the face <laughs> and says, drink me at the end of the day. But you want to start with something that's fruit forward, maybe a little with a little uh, 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 residual sugar. So if it's the first time you ever had wine, I would say start with a little Riesling. And then maybe work into your Sauvignon Blancs and then get into your richer and more robust Chardonnays. And then you go through the reds and then oh, it's off into the, I mean, oh, through the whites, it's off into the red area to Merlots and then Cab and then Pinot. So folks really can develop uh, a sense if they approach it, like you say, and, and approach it gradually and work their way through it, they really can understand what it is they're tasting. Because most folks just throw up their hands and they say, well, I, I'll ask my waiter what goes good with this. After time, you will learn that. You'll know that uh, Pinot and Lamb or or uh, a, a solid Cabernet with a good steak. And th there's chemistry behind that. There's a real science behind that, which people don't have to know, but it's interesting. It is interesting, and no, you don't need to know it. At the end of the day, it's just do you like it or not. Right, right. <laughs> All right, well, I, I know that we want to talk to folks about this VIP uh, tasting experience that we're offering free tickets for. You, you go to our Facebook page for San Diego Living, just like us, tell us why you want to go, and here's where you're going. Well, you will end up going up to Santa Rosa, up in Sonoma County, about an hour north of San Francisco, and we have the Kendall Jackson Wine Center culinary area there, and we've just actually redone it. And when you go in there, you can, the, the, our staff will serve you some wine, and it be, will be paired with little food bites, just little dollars. Would you get maybe five, uh, five wines and five little uh, t different types of food to try, matched perfectly by our chef on site. Uh -huh. So he's actually making us look good making the wines look great. So the, the, these tickets will get you there so that you can try these various wines from Vintners Reserve to Grand Reserve to the Highland Estate and it is a culinary experience. Ah, uh, Folks, okay, so you go to our Facebook page, San Diego Living Facebook page, like us and tell us why you would like to have that VIP experience. And then there what, big festival coming up in September? So yes, the, to toma plan? the Tomato Festival we have every year in, in, in September at the Wine Center. If you enjoy heirloom tomatoes. This is the place to go. There'll be over 140 different kinds of tomatoes. We have a big table in the middle of this uh, field the size of a football field surrounded by walnut trees. They've all been sliced, all colors, and what's really interesting is the color of the tomato kind of goes with the 
color of the wine. So a greenish kind of tomato oh, goes wow. with Sauvignon Blanc. Your golden tomatoes go with Chardonnay. Your very light red, light purple go with Merlot. There are tomatoes that are almost black. They go with Cabernet. It's quite amazing. And then amongst all that, we have about 30 different restaurant tours from the Bay Area there serving a little bit to eat to go along with our wines and they have to use a tomato in some way shape or form. Oh beautiful. All right Randy Ollum, Kendall Jackson, great to see you. Thanks Good to so see much you. for coming in here and uh, folks get up there and just enjoy the uh, that VIP experience but go to our Facebook page, like us, tell us why you'd like to go. And come in anytime. Will do. Love to see you. Pleasure. Everybody loves Kendall Jack. All Thank right. Thank you.